term hijab, guess what? It's not in any of these three verses. In fact, it's no. A person made this statement that there is no hijab mentioned in the Quran, and this person was giving this brilliant response to that question, to that statement. Let's check it out. There's a lot of things today which people are saying Islam needs to change its opinion on. One of them is hijab. And that term hijab, guess what? It's not in any of these three verses. In fact, it's nowhere in the Quran directly meaning a woman's veil. So with regards to the hijab, like we always say, our source is the Quran and Sunnah. If we go back to the Quran, mm. we find that the Quran is very specific. Mm. A lot of people like to make the argument that it's vague. These verses were left intentionally vague. But with regards to the hijab, it's specific. And what it says about the hijab is that the female should place her khimar, which is a head covering. According to every Arabic dictionary, it's a head covering. And uh, initially, the Arabs at that time, they would allow the tail of that scarf, that khimar, the head covering, to go onto their back and they would leave their chest exposed. So the Quran says mm. to take this khimar, or this head covering, and also use it to cover the chest. Okay. So based upon this verse, we understand That's that the head must be covered the and the chest must be covered. It was not mentioned this directly. part of the body must be covered. This is what's referred to as hijab. Oh, yeah. Although the, the term hijab itself wasn't used in this verse, it's come to be known as hijab. People might say that the hijab is attached to modesty, and modesty is understood differently today than it was then. That was the cultural norm then, and now it's a different cultural norm now. So therefore, why can't hijab also change? Why can't it be less or more? A woman could choose for herself how to dress according to her, her specific culture and the progression of time. Obviously, we understand that the reason for this is, is modesty, mm. that the female should be modest. Mm -hmm. But uh, our understanding of what is modest is according to how Allah Azza wa Jal in, in the Quran and Sunnah has taught us to be modest. On the other hand, if we say that all we have to do as Muslims is be modest, and the way we understand this modesty is based upon our culture hmm. or based upon society, what is uh, socially accepted. If we say this, really what we're saying is, is everything is allowed because certain societies say culturally that the female should cover their whole body. Hmm. And then other societies on the other side of the spectrum, they say that the female can almost uncover her entire body besides you know, a, small, a few small areas. By saying that the ruling is based upon modesty and we are allowed to understand modesty based upon certain, certain culture or certain uh, societies, what we're actually saying is everything is allowed mm. from the start of the spectrum to the end of the spectrum. Mm. So you're not, actually, uh, you're not actually giving a ruling, you're not actually saying what should be allowed. Was there any group of ulama that came out and said or redefined what hijab was? The, so this is one of those things that there was complete agreement upon. Mm. At the very least that the female should cover her head and her chest as well as the rest of her body mm. and exposing her face and hands and some said the feet. This is something where the ulama of our tradition from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have agreed upon. So it, it's actually quite bemusing that we have certain people in our times who come along and say that all of these ulama got it wrong. Mm. Is that something which is realistic? Thousands upon thousands of ulama experts have got it wrong and now just by sheer coincidence a few Muslims have come along and said now I've, I've, I've got the correct understanding. While every single other scholar Hundreds of thousands of scholars uh, got it wrong. Hmm, beautiful. That was short and beautiful. Uh, yes, like the man said, it was not directly mentioned in the Quran about the hijab, but you know, in the Quran it said you must cover your, you know, head, cover your chest. So that is what they mean by hijab. So I want to use this one to relate to a particular topic in which most Christians and Muslims use as debates about Trinity. Trinity was not directly, sorry for deviating, but I just want to say something short about that. Trinity was not me mentioned directly in the Bible, you get, but we know that there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So because of those three were mentioned in the Bible, Son, Father, Son is Jesus. Jesus was mentioned in the Bible. Um, Holy Spirit was mentioned in the Bible and God 
so that I, I know i'm not making sense let's leave that one aside well i, I just want to you know try and let you know that that's where the term came from it was not directly mentioned so i love the response this man gave it was a brilliant response trying to let us know that it's not directly spoken in the quran but it's obvious with the way allah said it in the quran that you must cover here cover here cover here you get this and that's where modesty comes in because when you dress very well it's the way you are dressed that's where how people will address you when you dress in a modest manner it's you know it it brings good morals it brings respect and that's what islam is all about when you dress you have to dress decent you have to dress modestly so that it has to show your lifestyle you cannot be practicing a religion you cannot say you are you are a religious person or and is not showing in your lifestyle your life must depict who you are you get it your life must depict it's not by you saying i'm a muslim i'm a christian i'm a this your life must depict who you are and that was a brilliant tour very short and beautiful i enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye